Hello, my name is Andrew Gardine, and today we're going to take a look at the Easy Stand Evolve, including making the proper adjustments and fitting it either for one client or for many clients. It's important to know these adjustments well so that our clients get the maximum benefit out of either sitting or standing in the Easy Stand. Setting seat depth is important both for transferring in and out of the unit and as you transition from sitting to standing. In order to make the seat depth as easy as possible, let's do a couple things to prep this adjustment. First, what I want to do is take and move my shadow tray adjustment as far back towards the back as possible. To do that, I loosen the knob, slide the, seat, the table back, and then I can set it back down. Now, what I want to do to make the seat depth a little easier is to elevate the easy stand into a slight angle. I'm working with the power lift option here today. If I was using the hydraulic, I'd just give it a couple of pumps until I have an angle just about like this. Next, I come to the seat tube adjustment underneath the middle of the easy stand and loosen the knob. Once the knob is loosened, I push the button in the following arm and pull the, pull the seat depth adjustment back. You'll notice that as I adjust the seat just adjustment back, the angle of the table also changes. To correct that, I turn the knob at the back of the easy stand, and that levels the table out again. Once it's level, I can make another inch adjustment by pushing the button and continuing to lower it back. So far, I've adjusted it two inches back. Once we have the seat depth set, let's just drop the, the easy stand back down into a flat seated position and this also allows us to check our back angle and make sure that we've made the adjustment properly. Now let's review taking the easy stand from a deep seat depth back into a short seat depth. Once again, I'll lift the unit up. I'll loosen the knob and then slide forward adjusting the back angle after each adjustment to the seat tube. And let's go one more inch. Slide that down and then adjust our angle. We can look, we can check it again by moving the table to uh, parallel or flat or there's also an indicator on the side and you just want the pointer to be within the green. Then when we have the setting that we're looking for, let's just tighten up the knob underneath and that'll just take any play out of it as I tighten it up and then I can bring it down and just check that my seat to back angle and my seat depth is set to the distance that I want it to be. Now let's take a look at what proper fitting looks like in the Easy Stand Evolve. I'm going to fit myself in this Evolve. When fitting a client in the Evolve, we want to make sure that the femur is laying all the way on the seat. We do this by adjusting the foot plates up and down. If your foot plates are too high, your knee position will also be high. Make sure you drop your foot plates to a, to a height where your femur is resting all the way on the seat. In this case, I could lower the foot plates another inch because I still have space underneath my leg. In addition, we want to make sure that we're back far enough so that our knees are not too far forward in the unit. I have too much space right now between my, the back of my leg and the seat. I want to shrink that down to maybe one finger's width. I already set my seat depth, so my seat depth is correct, but I want to get my knees back. So now I bring my knees down, I put them in proper position, making sure that they're not too far forward. These are the independent knee pads, which allow independent depth adjustment. The standard knee pads adjust at the same time. In addition to these independent knee pads also have height adjustment. So I can adjust in height, and I can also adjust in adduction or abduction. 
Now let's just drop my foot plates one more inch and look at other foot rest adjustments. The foot rests can be adjusted by loosening the clamp on the side of the easy stand base. When I loosen this clamp, I can adjust the foot plate up and down. By loosening it further, I can adjust plantar flexion or dorsiflexion. So I want it about this height. There are markings on the side of the easy stand to indicate height if you're working in a multi-user facility. And what I want to do is make sure both sides are set evenly. In the case of a leg length discrepancy, we can set the height of the foot plates at different heights. One final adjustment in the foot plates is the ability to set it in a toe out position. There's numerous holes, so you can adjust in four different settings. Now let's get back in the easy stand and see how we look. I've dropped my foot plates down, so now my leg is firmly resting in the foot plates. I set my knee pads previously, so they're in position. Now I can bring my shadow tray adjustment down. Push it back into place. Now I can slide the tray back into position and tighten the knob. Make sure you get it nice and tight, and that'll prevent me from going forward. Now, with proper positioning in the Easy Stand Evolve, the two pivot points on my legs, my knee and my hip, are lined up correctly with the two pivot points on the Easy Stand Evolve. This is the hip pivot point. My hip is quite close to the hip pivot point. The knee pivot point, my knee is quite close to the knee pivot point, not too far in front of and not too far above. When I go from sitting to standing, this is going to mean that I've really effectively reduced the amount of shear between my seat and the seat on the Evolve and the torso and the back support and chest support in the Easy Stand Evolve. And it just makes for an overall better experience and better positioning if you get your adjustments right. Just remember in review, the key part of fitting the Easy Stand Evolve properly is to get your knee pivot point lined up properly with the knee pivot point on the unit, making sure your knee pads are set far enough back and that your foot plates are far enough down. And then lining up your hip pivot point as close as possible to the hip pivot point on the unit. This is done by adjusting your seat depth as we reviewed. If you get these two things right, your experience in the Easy Stand Evolve will be very good.